Hey guys, Will here. Yesterday's video I showed you guys how to get started on wrapping your car with a nice easy part which was the door handle. So today's video we're going to be moving into some of the more tricky stuff. We're going to be starting off with the door panel because it's a nice easy flat piece that's got no sort of complex curves on it or anything but in saying that there is a lot involved with you know tucking and wrapping and it starts to bring in all the fundamentals of wrapping so I think it's a good part to move on to next so this video I'll be showing you how I did it the next video after this so tomorrow's video I'll be showing you how to wrap a quarter panel then we'll move on to bumper bars and more intricate parts like side skirts so stick around if you haven't already subscribed to the channel now is a really really good time to do so so let's get stuck into this door Okay, so if you are taking ages to wrap your car like I did, it's a good idea to tape over any openings to the outside world just so you don't get bugs and moisture and things like that inside. So here I'm just pulling off the gaffer tape that I stuck on over the door handle and the hole where the mirror would normally go. Next, after we've done this, we're gonna to wanna to clean up any tape. Now, as with the door handles, preparation is absolutely key here. So go over the whole thing with some isopropyl alcohol and a nice clean applicator pad. Really give it a good scrub, get any crap off. If you don't get this part right, the whole job is going to turn out like rubbish. It may look good to begin with, but it will ultimately end up like crap. So take the time to get the preparation right. I spent probably a good 20 minutes here just getting in all the little nooks and crannies, making sure that everything was absolutely clean before I started. So once we've done that, get our wrap out, start to bring it up and just sort of bring it in line with the door and use your magnets to stick it up in line just so you can line up and figure out how much you're going to want to cut off. So you use the little rubber magnets like I've got here, stick them onto the panels, pull it out. Now we want to be really careful we don't drag the wrap along the ground here. We don't want to pick up any gravel or dirt, but just measure it as far as it needs to go down into the side skirt area. What I found on my MX-5 is that if I cut it a little bit longer, I can actually use the bit that I cut off around the top of the windscreen later on. So just check out and be smart with how much wrap you're using and where. It's very, very easy to waste a little bit here and there, and then by the time you get to the end of the job, you've wasted meters. So be smart, pick your um, pick, pick how you're cutting your wrap, and make sure you maximize the, um, the coverage there. So you can see I've used my cutting tool to just trim that off there, and I've got a nice clean piece of wrap the exact right length. So the next thing we want to do is kind of get everything into position, get our workspace tidied up and make sure that we don't have any crinkles to begin with. And then we're going to peel the backing off the wrap and start to place it down on top of the door. So this can take a while. I cheated a little bit here and did a bit of editing to get it out. But um, you can see here, I'm moving things out of the way. I'm peeling that backing paper off and the idea is to try and take this backing paper off as quickly as you can and as in as straight a line as possible. Now, You'll see here I'm placing the wrap down on the vehicle and there's a lot of crinkles there and that doesn't matter at this stage, this stage because we're not pushing down on it. We're not actually adhering it to the body. It's just kind of resting it there and you can see that I'm able to lift it back off pretty easily. The objective here is to just remove the backing paper without creating any nasty tight creases. And you can see here I'm going pretty slowly. If you had a second person to help, this would be a lot easier. So just be really careful. Take your time. Try to peel it off in a straight sheet. You can see I'm struggling a little bit here to do it, but you'll get the idea from what I'm doing. Obviously, be very, very careful not to put the wrap down into the dirt as well. So, just peel it off like so, and then just place the wrap back on top of the car. Now, this is the point where you want to sort of try and pull the wrap a little bit tight remove any creases, don't stretch it too much at this point, we're just trying to lay it down as flat as possible across as much of the door as possible without trapping any air. And you can see I'm kind of going in one direction towards the right, creating creases that are perpendicular to the car, or diagonal to the car rather, and then I'm gonna grab the other side, pull it tight up the top as well, and bring those, bring those creases out. So grab the bottom, pull it tight again, and you'll see it kind of came a little bit loose there, but you get the idea here. I'm removing the creases, then I'll go back around the other side again as well, pull that side tight, and that is the easiest way to get rid of your creases without creating nasty air bubbles. And you can see here that I'm not, I'm not pushing anything down, I'm just trying to get it as flat as possible as I go. Then we'll go along to the top and do the same thing there as well. And you can see I've already got a pretty nice flat surface that I can work with.
just working my way along the top, making sure it's nice and flat and there's no air bubbles. All the way up to the edges. Now I'm getting out my squeegee tool and just working the air up towards the top. Now this is where you need to be really careful with your technique. What you're wanting to do is push the air out towards an edge. So we don't ever want to create a situation where the air becomes trapped in the middle. So you can see here I'm working towards the edges from the sort of center line upwards and then I'll work my way across pushing all those air bubbles out making sure it's nice and flat and always leaving a pathway for the air to exit. You can see I get into situations a couple of times here where I, where I get a little bit of air trapped in the middle and I'm just having to try and push that air out towards an exit point. So here I'm pushing out towards the door handle, working my way down and because I haven't pushed the wrap really flat onto the body of the car yet, I'm able to, I'm able to just kind of work those bubbles out towards the edges and work my way down. You can see, just working down, you can see the lines there, just pushing it flat. This is actually really, really easy to do. Just don't get yourself cornered in a, um, you know, don't push towards the center and end up with an air bubble in the center. We're always pushing either down towards the bottom edge or out towards the sides to get all that air out. Just take your time with it. There's no need to rush. And you can see it's pretty straightforward. Now we just want to work the air out around the corner so we've got a nice flat edge up against the edge of the door. Work your way all the way along the edges. Now we're not sort of pushing it in at all, we're just kind of working it along without stretching the material too much, making sure that there's no air trapped in those corners. And what we'll do later on is we'll cut along that edge and then wrap it up and tuck it around the edge. So again, just take your time with it. There's no need to rush with this. The more time you take, the less likely you are to mess something up. and up around the corner, exactly the same thing. Just making sure we don't trap any air in those corners. Up along the edge as well, just wrapping around the door handle area. Push it in a little bit with our thumb as well. And now getting out our heat gun, and you can see up to this point, I haven't done any stretching. All I'm using the heat gun for here is to just kind of conform the wrap into those little nooks and crannies around the mirror. And then we'll do the same thing again. Just working our way around, making sure there's no air bubbles and working the air out towards any exit point that we can find. Now I'm just running over the surface with my heat gun just to bring any air. What happens is when you when you heat the surface up, the air kind of it expands a little bit and you actually get the um, the bubbles actually increase slightly. So this is just a good way to check that there's no bubbles. It also activates the adhesive as well. So this is a good point to sort of go over the whole body of the car and make sure you don't have any air bubbles. And now we're moving on to the area around the, um, the door handle. So we're just heating it up and stretching it in with our fingers. We don't need to use a squeegee tool for this really. Just kind of work it in with your, with your fingers. It's very, very, very easy to do. You can see the, um, the, the wrap is very, very, very pliable once you heat it up. Don't overheat it, of course. We're only just sort of putting the heat gun on there for a couple of seconds at a time just to loosen it up enough that we can tuck it into those corners. Now, we don't need to be too careful here because remember the door handle is going to be sitting over the top of this. We just want to make sure it's a nice clean edge as far as it's going to be tucked underneath so we never get any lifting corners. Heat it up again a little bit as you need to and just kind of massage it into position. And once we're done, we just trim around the edge, make sure we don't leave any loose edges, cut it all off, and that will be that. So again, we don't need to be super precise with this, but we do want to just make sure that we don't have any loose edges that can get water and dirt underneath them and start to peel up later. So that's pretty much it. Just tuck it all in, make sure there's no flaps left behind. And then just cut a, cut a couple of little slits for the bolts to go back in for the door handles later on. Now moving on, doing exactly the same thing with the mirror opening. Trimming around the outside, making sure there's no loose flaps around the edges. 
and just tucking it all in. Very, very simple and straightforward. And now we want to move along to the top edge. So what we want to do is we want to tuck it around the corner as much as possible. So we want to leave about a half a centimeter to a centimeter gap, cut along the edge all the way along, and then we'll tuck that flap down once we've finished. So again, we're going to have a trim piece sitting over the top of this, so it's not super critical. We just want to make sure we don't have any flaps that dirt can get underneath or water or anything like that and start to lift over time. So just cutting along the edge, being obviously very, very, very careful not to mark any other areas of the car with the knife blade run along the side and then just tuck the flap down. So working our way around the corner, we just need to stretch the material a little bit around the edge so we don't end up with a flap in the corner and you can see here I'm just tucking the edge down pushing it flat up against the body of the car to make sure that, again that no moisture or dirt or anything like that can get underneath it now we move along to the edge of the door so we want to we want to cut along the back side here leaving that sort of half a centimeter gap which is which is the thickness of the door opening and just work our way up and down all the way along now holding the knife blade up against the edge of the body of the car so we don't actually scratch the paint you can sort of hold it up against the edge there and just use it as a guide around the side. So go all the way around the side and then go along the bottom edge as well and up the other side as well until we've got a clean cut all the way around our door. And as I mentioned before, this piece that I'm peeling off here actually ended up being the exact right size for my windscreen surround. Just a pure chance there. I didn't actually measure it beforehand, but I thought, hang on, this might actually fit. It turns out it did. So don't just throw the wrap away. Always, if you, if you end up with a big piece like this, there's a good chance you will actually be able to use it somewhere else. So as you can see here, I'm just laying it down in the rough position, and then we end up wrapping that later on. I don't cover that in the video because it's a very, very, very simple piece to wrap. So now we just need to move on to tucking the wrap around the edge. So what we want to do is run around the corners with our squeegee tool, really push it in there, stretch it around the edges, but we don't want to stretch it too much because we don't want to have any tension on the wrap in an edge. Because what will happen is it will start to sort of try to go back to its original shape and start to peel. So just run your finger along the edge, kind of push the wrap around the corner, and it will naturally try to sort of follow that curve of the car. And then you can use a pick tool like this to actually push it in and hook it around the corner and push it nice and flat. With, again, without stretching the material, all we're doing is we're just running it along that flat edge, wrapping it around so that it stays there nice and sticky and it won't ever lift up again. So as you can imagine, having the body of the car clean around this edge is absolutely critical. If that surface isn't clean, the wrap's not gonna stick and it will lift over time. So just run very carefully around the side. Make sure you don't create any kinks or ripples. Run your finger along the bottom as well and all the way up around the edge. So the wrap really does just sort of conform around the corner very, very easily. It's almost, it, it almost looks too easy here, but it really is that simple. Just push it around and then I heat it up a little bit with my heat gun and just tuck it down with my finger again. Again, making sure we're not stretching it. What we're doing is just pushing it flat so that it sticks down nicely without any backward pressure to that will cause it to lift up again later on. So we run all the way around the body of the car, pushing it flat all the way around. And you can see I'm kind of working it around the corner to make sure I don't trap any air on that edge. It's very, very easy to get a little bit of air trapped in that corner. And once you've trapped it there, it's almost impossible to get out without lifting the wrap up again, which stretches it and you know distorts it and makes it look ugly. So just be really, really careful here. Take your time. Just kind of work the air out and around the corner. And that is pretty much it.
All right, so that is how I wrapped my really door. Now, obviously, I'm not a professional, but it's all worked out pretty well for me, and I'm absolutely stoked with the results. So if you do have any comments or questions, do let me know in the comments below, of course. If you are a professional and you think that I've messed it all up, let me know as well, because I'm happy to be corrected, and I'll pass that message on as well. So this is all about improving the community, helping people out. So I'm not trying to be an expert here. I'm just sharing my journey. But anyway, that's how I wrapped my door. Tomorrow's video, we'll be moving on to a quarter panel and a rear panel. So hopefully, if found the video interesting and useful like and subscribe and I will see you in tomorrow's video bye